Okay, so we've got another combination that I was fortunate enough to produce last year, uh, and that's the Patternless Albino. And um, I'm sure you guys are familiar already with the Patternless Mutation, which is this guy here. So again, this is an incomplete dominant mutation. Uh, that's the super form, so that's two copies of the gene, and you've got uh, vis visible hets there. So that's uh, clearly het for patternless, if you like. Uh, there's a couple of yearlings there, so you can see the variation in them, nice and dark, but still with some soft colors underneath. Then this was the first project, first multi-gene project that I did with these guys. You've got here, this is the Exanthic patternless. And again, versus the normal patternless, you can see the difference with the black eyes there and uh, the soft orange is removed. It's almost like got a blue hue to it. So yeah, that's your exanthic patternless. It started off quite sort of light and golden. It sort of picks up pigment and almost ends up like a, almost like a hypermel almost. So yeah, that's, a, that's one of this year's and that's a yearling. And um, okay. that last year was the first patternless albino and then fortunate enough just a couple of days ago to pop out another one of those guys there so um, literally just two days old. The albino het patternless which you can see uh, with its broken pattern on the back and the super form albino patternless there so and there we have it you've got the yearling albino patternless versus the baby and um, the albino het patternless there. Albino patternless with a larva. Quite a few people have drawn the comparison well um, there it is there, both nice and strikingly orange, although the larva's probably more orange, hence the name, I guess. But yeah, albino patternless has a more even patternless look to it, if you like. It's sort of a smoother animal. Probably a nicer animal for me, but um, I guess that's up for you guys to decide. So yeah, that's your patternless albino. Uh, be interesting to see what that look, looks like as a patternless T+. Plus. We've already got patternless exanthic, and uh, how's it going to work with the white side of them patchwork mutations? You know, that's that they to me are, are are the next level mutations and hold the keys to all of those different combinations. So um, yeah, that's pretty cool.